Welcome guys, in this short video we will see how to use the Katia for drawing simple geometries and the extrude and revolve it. After installing Katia, just double click the icon to open the Katia software. I need that when you go to start, mechanical design, part design, where you can draw simple sketches and we can convert that sketch into 3d solid entities revolving or extruding that as we can see in many other softwares we can see the three planes that is the xy plane so here you can see the axis this is x y and z so uh, the base plane is the xy plane and the vertical planes are zy and zx we can also move closer to that plane and you can see in this section you can see what plane it is this is a yz plane and this is a zx plane and the horizontal one is the xy plane so why i am telling this because before drawing any sketch or uh, if you want to draw any model we must uh, be sure about the uh, plane where you need to uh, draw that if you want to have a, a vertical cylinder so we have to draw a circle in this horizontal plane so that's why this is the xy plane so if we want uh, the same thing the cylinder in a horizontal manner we have to draw the uh, sketch in either in this uh, vertical plane uh, that means uh, yz plane or this zx plane so uh, now i'm going to draw a small cylinder so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a sketch in this vertical plane that is YZ plane. I'm clicking that YZ plane and now I'm clicking the option sketcher. So automatically it will uh, open the sketcher and the plane will become normal to the screen. So now we can uh, draw this sketch using a rectangle option or line option whatever you want. So before that we have to see the units. Here I am seeing the units in meters. So if your geometry is too small or if you are using some other uh, uh, units like feet, inches like that, so you can change your the units as well if you need. So go to the tools and go to options and here will be an option called parameters and measure. So and there you can see uh, many parameters and their units. In the length go to the, uh, the options and there will be uh, bunch of options you can change that to millimeter or centimeter or anything whatever you want so now i'm changing that to millimeter by i think by default it will be in millimeters in the previous case i have used meters so that now it is displaying in terms of meters let me draw that so uh, now i'm drawing a rectangle which is having width of 30 mm and 70 mm we can use this uh, grid option otherwise we can also uh, do that by Typing the text which is the first point already we have given that is 0 comma 0. Let me start from the scratch. So first point I can simply make a point here. Otherwise I can uh, say the first point is at 0 comma 0. So that means in the x and y that is 0. And then click enter. And now I am asking the second point. Uh, otherwise, I can uh, mention the width and height of the uh, the cylinder. So I am giving the width is 30 and the height is 70 mm. Okay, in this way also you can draw. Otherwise, you can directly use this graphical user interface and uh, you can directly locate the points like this. Now, what I am doing. 30 comma something. This is also a good way to draw. And then after drawing this geometry, generally after drawing a sketch, we need to convert that into a 3D entity or a three-dimensional object which is having some volume. So for that you have you can create call that as extrude in some other softwares. So for doing that you have to exit the sketcher. So now we have exited from the sketcher and you can do the 3D operations like uh, that extrude. That extrude is generally a common term used in many other softwares and here it is named as pad so if you pad it, uh, it it will create a three dimensional object which is having a thickness or in the z axis we can have, have a dimension what we are specific you can specify whatever dimension you want you can give 50 mm 
or something you want and if you want to see in some other direction you can you can see many other options this is uh, zoom to fit uh, it's it it uh, zooms the object and uh, fit into the screen fit all inside the screen so this is uh, one option you can use and this is the pan option where we can uh, by which you can move the object and uh, this is the rotate option by using this you can see all other angles of this all other perspectives of this object and if you want to go back to some other view which is normal to some plane you can click this normal and you can select the plane what you want so this will make you to see the objects normal to your plane okay at any time if you want to go back to the standard isometric view you can click here to go back to the isometric view and you can fit that into your screen and if you don't want to click these buttons you can also use some other option by using your mouse button itself if you click your control button and i use your uh, mouse rollers uh, by clicking the center uh, the roller button and if you scroll down and up if you move your mouse down and up it will zoom in and out and if you want to rotate you have to click the uh, mouse center roller that means the roller should be pressed on and also click the right mouse button and uh, if you move your mouse it will rotate so instead of clicking this option you can uh, this uh, use these shortcuts also and any time you can go to isometric view and at any time you can also go to any uh, view which is normal to the plane and uh, you can also go to some standard views that is back view left view front view like that you, you can also these use these features to go back to that view directly and then now i have created a part which is uh, having an extrude that means uh, a pad here so it is having a part which is uh, padded so i am going back to the isometric view okay so now i have already created a sketch and using that sketch i have created a pad now what i am going to do is i am remo removing that pad by right clicking that and uh, i am deleting so now the extruded uh, uh, future has been deleted we can still use this sketch for some other features so let me use this feature for uh, a revolve that means uh, uh, the revolve option is mentioned as shaft here so if we click shaft and uh, you can give the angle first angle 360 degrees second angle that is uh, zero degrees that means a whole 360 degrees rotation you can select the sketch if it is not selected you can uh, click here and you can click this selection click this sketch whatever you want and also you have to select the axis otherwise it, uh, the computer will not know the axis about it it has to be rotated so i am clicking this as my axis so it will rotate like this so i am if i want not if i don't want 360 degrees i can have some minimum number of degrees uh, like 270 degrees whatever we angle we want we can do. so now it has been rotated now the revolve option or the uh, shaft option uh, option has been performed So you can go to the definition any time, but you can change that values also. If I want 360 degrees, again I can change that to 360 degrees. If I want to, if I want to do any uh, options, any changes after doing a feature option, I have to right click that feature and uh, uh, go to the definition, and we can change that uh, any time. Okay, so now we have learned how to use this uh, Catawissa software for creating a simple feature like a pad and a shaft. We'll see you again in the next video. Thank you.